I think the industry is becoming increasingly comfortable with the fact that uh, oil prices remained relatively robust throughout that period of time. And so there's a confidence returning to the e &P players in terms of their investment strategies and rationales. Um, certainly the issue of competency in a post Macondo environment is a, a, a critical factor for most companies and indeed their boards to consider in terms of their governance. But there are very viable solutions out there. Um, you know, we are working um, as a company, for instance, with the uh, insurance underwriters in London to ensure that the customers that we work with in drilling their wells um, receive lower insurance premiums because they're using the management system and the, and the risk management systems that we as a company have invested in over the course of the last four to five years. So there's a very positive outcome, if you like, from an increased awareness of, uh, of the issues relating to what can happen on a well if it goes wrong. In terms of the, the global investment rationale, uh, we continue to see NOCs uh, increasingly reaching outside of their traditional uh, boundaries and looking for international investment. We see um, the small new starts and the, and the medium-sized independents continuing to globalise. And in a world where there continues to be a dearth of, of critical knowledge to get the job done, you know, it, it continues to be a very good year for, for, for Synergy. Unfortunately, in the course of the last year, we've seen um, considerable escalation in the costs associated with most things in the industry, and that includes the uh, intellectual talent of the people that we all seek to use. Um, you know, many of the, the oil companies have almost sought to pursue access to the capability at any price, and I don't think that's a healthy thing for the industry. Um, you know, strangely. Uh, the industry continues to focus on the individual rather than access to the knowledge itself. The technical challenges of any basin you know, are in, and in, the, in themselves just that, a technical challenge. You know, and that challenge can be addressed by accessing you know, a wider spread of knowledge and capability from companies like ourselves rather than simply going out and getting the best person that's available. I would emphasise that, that, that the way Synergy seeks to continue to work with its customers is as a knowledge partner, working alongside the internal capability of the client. But there's no doubt that if two heads are better than one, then I'd like to think that a hundred heads are, are better than two. And, and, and certainly having the, the breadth and depth of capability that we now have, which is consistent with a very large independent oil and gas company. Um, is something which, uh, which, which we can bring to our smaller customers and give them a capability which enables them to punch way above their, their weight. So you know, that's, that's how I would hope the industry will continue to evolve. I guess very nicely I was asked to come today um, to, to attend the event. That's, that's, that's a, a nice compliment on, on Synergy and myself. Um, I was participating on the, the panel around the issues affecting leadership in the industry and uh, you know that's a a subject which you know I feel very strongly around. I, I, I continue to, to, to um, emphasize that the industry needs to do more to tell the great story of what it's about and the great things that we are doing around the world. You know, we, we, we must continue to, to erode the, the, the unfortunate circumstance where the media tends to lead industry communication. We've got to get out of a reactive uh, method of telling our story into a proactive space. You know, the, the industry continues to globalise, oil price remains high, and demand for our product continues to rise year on year. That's an environment where the world has, I think, finally accepted the importance of the energy industry in terms of the global economies that we all uh, live in and, and invest in. So for me, the, the, the future is looking very, very positive. Leadership from companies around differentiation of their product and their, and their people will be key to success and, and this, this conference is all about success so I'm delighted to be here.